of Andy Bites. The only show that I know of that combines disability and gaming. It's one fine point on the space time continuum. I am Captain Gimpy, and this is Zen Goro. Yeah. I was going to say, what is the donkey noise? Anyway, today we bring you a little bit from the world of speedruns. For those of you who don't know what speedruns are, we'll have a Wikipedia definition for you right here, but basically what it is, is that <coughs> players challenge themselves to either complete an entire game or a section of a game in the fastest time humanly possible. This could include exploiting witches present in the game or just being generally badass, which is true of the kids. Um, and there's one particular speedrunner that we have for you today. His name is Clint Half Coordinated Lexa. What's so special about Clint Lexa? Well, Clint Lexa has a physical disability which impairs the use of his, his entire right side of his body. It's called hemiparesis, and basically what it is is a condition in which uh, there is scar tissue on the motor cortex of the brain. And he describes it in the following way playing video games. He says it's just basically imagine having a mitten on your hand at all, at all times. Dude, it would be pretty hard to use it on. Well, it would be pretty cool, but you can use it on a cave stick. <laughs> yeah, you won't be able to feel the stress and hardness and stick. But then I could see how that would be able to feel the stress and hardness and stick. But then I could see how that would uh, be very, very bad for something like a speed run. Oh, maybe. Um, Clint recently did, well, he's best known for a couple of different games, both of which are titles developed by a company called Platinum Games. They do a lot of really cool, like, over-the-top brawlers. Um, one of them that he did recently, and I think it was Summer Games Done Quick, yeah. that was June of this year, was uh, Transformers. And uh, we'll have a little clip for you that right here. 50% faster than anyone else's. So we basically have to be in, and then he has this nice little dash that helps us close distance very well and actually allows for a couple skips later. The next game that he's known for is uh, called Vanquish. We have a clip queued up for you right here. He is his. He's the hero that all the robots need. He, this guy does not want to be attacked by me. He's <laughs> actually rather smart of him. <laughs> yeah, that dude's pretty, uh, he's a pretty badass. Yeah, it's like Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> Dude, that's the game just flatten the makes, man. I'll make you make more of them. And put them on PC, guys. Come on now. Yeah, you're missing a large fan base. I need to have PC games on my guy that I love dollars. So, uh, Platinum Games, if you're watching. PC. <laughs> so, another thing to know about Clint is that, uh, he does modern games, and a lot of modern uh, speedrunners do things like uh, Call of Duty challenges, but there's a huge portion of the speedrun community that focuses on retro games, so he described it as a lonely, lonely spot in the following uh, way. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the games I do run, Vanquish, Transformers, they don't really have other runners. So I'm both doing it one-handed and mostly by myself to figure out how to push the game. Earlier, because we pulled this interview from uh, Polygon, and Clint was asked about uh, what options he'd expect in a game when it comes to limited hand usage. And he talked about how you really can't know what someone's position will be. And so it's really difficult to predict. But he did have this to say when responding to that question. A lot of other disabled gamers have come up to me and told me that I inspired them to keep gaming and otherwise, which means more to me than I can even explain. 
it's really, really what I do for in the end. They have a lot of varying situations, and you just cannot predict what would be best for each player. It could even be personal preference for someone who doesn't have a disability. And it's a really great thing to have custom controls built into your game. And I really want to see that more prevalently. Speaking of which, a really cool thing. He's working with the developer on a game called, I believe it's called Motor Knight, which is currently in early access on itch.io and Steam. And the cool thing about that is it has options for people who are colorblind, and they have completely bonnet, like customizable, programmable keys in game. Which means, if we're talking about Street Fighter terms, and I wanted to throw a Shuriken, I could just do that with one button, and which is pretty good. Yeah. Evo, here I come. <laughs> here I come. Evo, I hope more people do that in games. And it's really cool because, like. Keeping a, something like an uppercut to a hot key would make it easier to play that <laughs> game because a lot of people get wrapped up in the whole competitive scene. Like, oh well, if you can't throw this combo, then you suck. And um, sometimes I always found that kind of haughty. That word, arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Most people don't know we're over in that game for cheating, but it is haughty. Yeah. Yeah. So having completely rebindable keys is, I think, probably going to open up a larger uh, consumer base for video games. Definitely. Um, I mean, first of all, before we uh, go on to uh, our personal thoughts on the whole matter, because, I mean, part of what we want to do here is uh, inspire people. And, you know, uh, one of the things that Clint said in, in an interview that he did and this was quoted by both Kotaku in some form in an article. I um, mean, if what you, uh, if what you uh, see over there, you can even call it an article. But that's just personal preference. I, I, I love some of the things they do. I just wouldn't necessarily call them articles. But uh, he says that whenever he's interviewed, he always tells people that uh, don't let anybody tell you what you can and can't do, especially when it comes to video games. Because, I mean, the dude plays one-handed. What excuse do you have for getting owned when you're, like, physically normal? I bet you I can probably own you in some video games.